Hey guys, Curtis here. I wanted to bring you a beautiful seafood recipe. This is done with salmon, crispy skin. Very, very easy to make, but really delicious. You ready? Come with me. First of all, you have to prepare some peas, slice a couple of carrots, and then just slice up a couple of pieces of bacon. Now we're gonna make a sauce. I've got three cloves of garlic, straight into your little food processor, big old handful of coriander, and a handful of tarragon. I've got some tomato vinegar here. The truth is, red wine vinegar would work really well, sherry vinegar would be delicious, but this little tomato vinegar, acidic but just a touch of sweetness, balsamic could even work really nicely. Good old splash of your extra virgin olive oil, and then you just want to hit it really quickly. It's still a bit coarse, right? So what we're going to do is add a little pinch of salt to a little bit of pepper, and a bit more oil. And that is effectively the sauce. That packs some flavour. Wonderful. That's it. Our sauce is done. Now come over and learn how to do the perfect crispy skin salmon. Here's a secret, right? Everyone's going to think, oh, you need a nice hot pan. Actually, the opposite. You want a cold pan to begin, right? But then you turn it up on full. Tiny bit of oil. The truth is you might not even need it. I've got a good non-stick pan. But if you do want to use a little oil, just use it sparingly because Salmon has natural oils and they will render out just like a piece of steak will. We're going to season it up with a little salt. Be generous with your seasoning. Flip those over just like that. The reason you put it into a cold pan is if you put it into a hot pan, imagine this is the hot pan, imagine this is the salmon. It goes like this. The second it hits the pan, so then you've got all this piece of skin that's not coming into contact with the pan. So it's really important that your pan's not super hot to begin. See how it's not sizzling? You don't want it to sizzle. You want it to be nice and cold to start. Then you crank that heat as aggressively as your pan will let you, and that's how you get that crispy skin. Next we get the bacon. Bring that over and drop that in to your other pan. No need for any oil because the fat in the bacon is actually going to render down and it's going to get crispy in its own fat. Now you'll notice I haven't done anything. I just put the salmon in the pan, right? It was cold to start. It's slowly coming up to heat. I'm not turning them. Just leave it. What we're trying to do is get that nice skin contact. We're trying to get that crispiness on the underside. And I promise you it will happen, but you do have to be patient. If you just can't help yourself, Here's the best way to turn. Get yourself a pair of tongs and a little feet. See, still not crispy. Needs another minute. Told you. So you can see how perfectly crisp that bacon's getting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that crispy bacon, get yourself just some kitchen uh, paper towel like that, stick it on a plate and just whoop, stick it out there, right? Leave a little bit of the bacon fat still in the pan. We'll come back to this bacon in just a moment. And go ahead and toss those in. Just like that. All right, now it's time to have a look at the salmon. It's been like three or four minutes. Beautiful crispy skin already. And you finish it with that little bowl of butter that I was talking about. Just like that. You get just a slurp of white wine. This is a little bit of leftover rosé. But I'll go ahead and put just a tablespoon or two of that and get our lid. We capture the steam. All right, you pick up that pan, you tilt it down towards yourself, and then all of that brown butter that's coming down there, you're gonna spoon that directly over the fish. And we throw in our peas, push your bacon back in, a little bit of seasoning. You guys, it's dinner in 20 minutes. Have a look at this, when I break in to that salmon, you can hear that crispy skin, but look at how succulent and just unctuous that gorgeous salmon's gonna be. Pop of the pea, the sweetness of the carrot. Mm. It's really good. 